need this. I need and this. he cannot even make efforts to get it. No, no, for himself. No. My God. This this is <laughs> please. You just need to identify them. Okay? These are if you are going into marriage and uh, you want to know all these principles, how to identify a lazy man. Okay, number four is they demand a lot. A lot. They demand so much, they demand a lot, but they don't know how to give. Because they don't have. <laughs> what they, they, have, they, don't have. have they don't have to give. Okay? Yeah. They are the selfish type. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Number five, he has no passion at all. He has no passion. He's just self-centered. He has no passion for nothing. Whether you die or you don't care. If you die, if you die, they don't care. A man who no say I love you for better for worse. If you you are in the one way, I don't get it. Now, which make I do? I, I want him myself. He has no passion. You see yeah. life like that. They don't have no knowledge inside. Him. Like, don't I'm, talk. Talk. I'm telling you. Tom, I love you. That is the truth. That is the truth. Don't 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 you see, I'm telling you, someone lazy has no passion for anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? If it does not matter if the world turns to the right or to the left, his maximum passion is having a long time to do nothing and enjoy his laziness. They do not have habit like reading or making anything reasonable, any other activity that requires their attention. They don't care. They don't care. They, they don't care. I'm telling you. They don't have time to say, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me focus on this thing. Let me have a focus. What, 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 what do I really want in my marriage? How do I want my marriage to be? Which is my, what, what, why did I, why did I get into this marriage? Sometimes I, I, many, some lazy men think that when you bring a woman inside home, you want to call her your wife. You think just to call has go for you, you cannot take care of the family, it's just what you want. If you say, I marry you now, I marry you now, you marry me now, man. <laughs> I don't marry you, I pay your bread You marry me now, you pay my bread price, you pay me your house. You don't take care of your family, you don't take responsibility, you do nothing. This also goes to women. When you are married to a man, that does not mean that Yes, a woman is meant to be an helper. That is the, that is what why God made uh, this uh, uh, union. A woman is to be an helper. That is why Eve was taken from uh, from Adam yes. to form a woman because she will be a helper to Adam. A woman is being is an helper. It's not in the sense that the man alone has to carry all the body. Yes, a man is to provide for the family. That is number one and it's normal. Mm -hmm. A woman is to help the family. Take care of the house. Make sure you prepare food. If your husband go outside and come back, the food is ready for him to eat. Not when he come, the man is going to be looking for what he's going to eat. You have to take care of the children. Educate your children, you educate them as well. That is where the work of a woman is. But when all this burden is given to a woman, say you that supposed to be helper, you are the one carrying the body, there won't be any way for the woman to exhibit a function at all. Oh, I thought that is why uh, the men is always the head, why the women is always the neck. neck. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To help their own head. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I was I was just thinking, I said, wow, God creates man to be the head of the family. Mm -hmm. Which means the man will go, go and walk up to provide for his family. The reason why I bring the head is that if you don't come back, which means if you come, which means you will come to the food, you will come eat uh, 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 food that you will eat after the long suffering. Mm -hmm. So to avoid such thing, a woman was given. If you come, if you go out, so you go see food when you eat. A woman is there, is meant to provide to make those things for the husband. For the cleaning of the, the house. The cleaning of the house. Everything, because everything, cooking, everything, everything. Be there for your husband. When your husband needs you, give him what he needs you for. Because that is why 
you are together with him. Okay? So man should not leave all responsibility to a woman, even though the woman will contribute in the home sometime. Like this uh, modern life now. So, this modern life now, women contribute at home mm -hmm. a lot. Like for instance, we that is living in Europe, our husband work and the wife also work. work. Why are they doing it? To support each other mm -hmm. so that we can get a better future because we are not going to stay here forever. forever. One day we all go back to our home. Yes, you understand? We we'll go back to our home and we have something to live mm -hmm. for. Of course. So that is why you see women in Europe as well, they try to, to labor so that they will support the, the, the man. man, okay? So that something good will come out of the marriage. So if a man is having a woman in Europe and the woman is still working, like Europe sometimes, the, there is condition of war. There is like the term uh, duties of work. Men work, uh, they are work, maybe you work for money, uh, afternoon duty, uh, night duty. duty. They can change duty. That does not mean that uh, the woman too will not render help to the family as a supporter of the family. Even though you are still working, you still render help to the family. But just know that the head of the family is still the husband. You give your husband the due response that is due to him. But a man that is not doing this is a lazy man. A man who does not show concern is a lazy man. Okay, sometimes as people say, a woman you go outside, you a woman will go cheat a husband. Sometimes when I look into that situation, I find there are more to it. Before a woman who got married to a man and go outside to cheat. The husband, which may demand, is not giving that woman what she wants. No, that I'm advising it. I see this some of to be some of the reason that make woman to cheat on the husband because what she is expected of the man, the man is not doing it. Every time the man is at home with his phone, is chatting, is not doing anything to provide for the family. The woman alone carries the body and she's dying silently. Um, ma, ma, yes. So, my viewers, the truth is whether if you are a Christian, whether your husband is lazy, is self centered, he has no emotion, is demand too much. Is demanding, please always remember commit your marriage in the hand of God. Do not cheat your husband, no matter the situation, do not sell yourself to another man to defy, no matter the condition. Respect the marriage because that is what God has already. And God has already ordained for you, you both. And do as God asks you to do. Commit your marriage in the, house, in the hand of God and God will perfect it for you. No marriage is perfect. Just know this. No marriage is perfect. Whether the man is not lazy, or the man is lazy. Every marriage has issues. There is no man that will come out and say, I am the happiest man in my marriage. You might say it, but you know the truth. It is only God that perfects marriage. The marriage calls for two people to tango. Marriage calls for understanding. Marriage calls for communication. Okay, so there are a lot of things that both of you need to put into so that you will get that ideal man or ideal woman. I, there, is a, 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 there is a proverb that said, it said, a seed grow with no sand. If you watch a seed, when a seed is growing, it has no sand. But a tree, 
when a tree falls, it falls with a huge noise. When a tree wants to fall now, you will hear the sound, the, 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 the ground will shake and make a lot of noise. But when a seed grows, nobody knows when a seed is growing. Mm-hmm. It comes silently. Yes. What does that mean? It means that creation is quiet. Anything that is benefiting, anything that is going to be fruitful is quiet. But destruction comes with a lot of noise. Something that is going to be, something that is not going to be useful comes with a noise. What does that mean? In your relationship, sometimes it's advisable you shut your mouth. Whatever goes on in your home, let it be in your home. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Whether it is good, keep it to yourself. Stop bragging. Stop coming out on social media or in public way and begin to say, I am the happiest married man or married woman on earth. <laughs> Don't do such things because those things bring attraction from the evil ones. You don't know people that are happy with you. Mm-hmm. You don't know people that not yes. that does not want to see your happiness. Don't break your home. Don't draw your home to people to know. Whether you are suffering, silence it. Because that seed that you grow, that you sowed, is what is growing. When it's growing, whether you are doing the right thing, you come out on social media, you come out for the world to see say your marriage is the best, or you come out to see say you put on the best thing, you have the best this, my dear. When that tree falls, there is a noise that comes out of it. It does not bring a good end to a marriage. Nobody enjoys to see his marriage suffering. The only thing that keeps marriage is secret. I'm saying this to marriage and I can also say this to individual life. In life, to be success in life is secret. Anything you do, let it be you and you and God alone. Stop bringing what your plan is to people to know. Because sometimes when you plan to people to know, you might not achieve what you plan. So my advice to everyone watching this program today, stop bringing your marriage issue to public. It is the seed you sow that you will reap. If you sow the good seed, you will reap the good fruit. If you sow the bad seed, you will reap the bad fruit. So try to seal your mouth. Concentrate on your marriage and communicate together with your partner. And a man of God said, I listened to a man of God, he said something so I really enjoy what he said. He said in the relationship, he said, the perfect woman does not exist. You know, sometimes man look for a perfect woman. Man, woman look for a perfect man. Mm-hmm. If you ask a woman, you say, my ideal man. If you ask a, a man, you say, my ideal woman. You that is a woman, you need your ideal man. Are you are you a dear woman? You want a good man. Are you a good woman? <laughs> so what makes you think that if you are not ideal, what makes you think you can get an ideal man? Okay? 
So this man really made this illustration. He said the perfect woman does not exist. The woman that you are looking for, the one in your head does not exist. She only exists in your mind. That's why you can't find a particular woman. That's why you can find a particular woman because she only exists in your mind. That woman you did, that woman you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't figure out. You don't see see yet. so your wife will be now. So you want her, you go, you go, you go, you go fair, you go get you go eight, you go classify whatever shape or whatever standard you want in a woman. You only exist in your mind. Then this man said, God will only give you the raw material. God will only give you the raw material. He says, I want you to cultivate what God wants you to do. When God gives you mat that raw material, the real woman for you, God wants you to cultivate and make her into the woman in your mind. Into that picture that you have in you. It is not left for you to cultivate her and make her to be that woman that you always want. So your job is to develop. You have to develop her. You have to refine her. You have to train her. You have to educate her and improve the woman in your life. That means the longer a woman stay with you, the better she should become. The longer a woman stays with you, that woman, the perfect woman in your mind, if you really want that woman, the woman that God will give you is a raw material woman. A woman who will take care of you. A woman who will be there for you. A woman who will fight with you. A woman who will stay with you. It is not left for you to develop this woman. Refine her. Educate her. Then, make her the standard of a woman. You want her to be. Then she will be that perfect woman for you. So, my advice today to relationship is when we feel on love in any capacity, in any relationship, when we feel on love and when we feel mistreated, when we feel somehow disrespected in a natural reaction to more revenge, the problem is when you seek revenge, you destroy yourself. This is another word I heard from someone. In a relationship, when we seek, we feel that we are unloved. We feel that we, we are being disrespected. The, the, the man doesn't love us in the woman part. When we feel so rejected. And the worst thing that can happen to that if you seek for revenge, you might end up destroying yourself. You better not seek for revenge. This one will be a, a thing of another, a thing of another. So what am I saying for that uh, advice of that man of God I'm listening to? When you want a perfect woman, it depends on how you make her to be a perfect woman that you always dream of. Thank you very much. So number six to identify a lazy man is let me go there. Is he does not finish what he started. True of us. A lazy man does not finish what he started. 
they always do something, they don't finish it. They leave it halfway with excuses. They don't end up with good reasons. It's un unstable. A, a, a lazy man, no, but this part of it is unstable. They may have a thousand projects in mind, but in the end, none of them carry, they never carried anyone else. They love to put off and put off what they could do today. They feel, I'm telling you, they feel that there are millions of conflicts that will complicate the realization of their plan. That's what you said, you say that they always take their plane to another person. Yes. <laughs> you understand? They always carry their plane to another person. Now you concern, mm -hmm. always draw their plane. Mm -hmm. Now because of you, they never think of any other possi uh, possibility. But they always throw their, 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 their failure yeah. to another person. That is another way to know a lazy man. Number seven, they never keep to their promise. At all. They are full of lies. They are full of lies. A lazy man never keep to their promises. They are not detail oriented. Since they never had time to make surprise, the worst thing is that they believe that justification will count as a detail. They don't think I forgot your birthday. They don't think. <laughs> so what I say? I was going to. I want to surprise you. They will go with lies. I never forget. He has something. They must find something to to present and say they are not forty. They never accept that they are forty. At all. They never accept that they are forty. They always bring blame. You know. Now I don't know. Hey, that's not the problem. They must say something to make you feel that they, they really care. Mm. They never keep to their promises. That is how to know a lazy a man. Okay? And on that thing, they don't, they don't, and they, he said, he, they, he's never up for anything. <laughs> he's never up for anything. It doesn't matter whether it's night or it's night. Add from the in the issue, they never they, they always on the bed. They don't care. They, they are always on the bed. When money breaks, you see they sit there for bed like that. Mm. When time to go work, they sit there for bed, they sleep. They always ask for food. They are telling you they only demand for what they don't they don't give. Mm. What they don't give, they always say, Ah, I need this thing. You know what's for me? I, you give me the money. Why think we're waiting a demand for me? <laughs> it's not waiting for money, it's now a cook for you. <laughs> but the only acts of so many things that they and never they make, they make extra demands. Extra, extraordinary. <laughs> they give problem to their wife. Okay, <laughs> these people are just. I'm telling you, they are just. Uh, wow, i seven. Yeah. So these are the things that we should learn from men. Some men, not all, of them, some men so. that are not. That are lazy. So men, how to identify them if you really want to know how you can identify a lazy man. So these are the options. So if you have any other option, you know how to identify these people, please kindly leave your comments below this session. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay. By next by uh, next program, we'll be talking to how. To deal with them, okay. We we'll have to know how to deal with them. We we'll know that they are our husband. We are already inside the marriage, mm -hmm. but we must know how to deal with them. By next, by next, uh, our program talk, we are going to talk about how to deal with these people because we are already in. We are not going at marriage is for better for worse. And for worse. Okay, so we are in. We are not going out so we have to have a way so that both of us will come to compromise okay just as we said before marriage comes for two people to come together in agreement it takes two to tango so two of us have to come together in agreement at least before two of them getting married there is something they saw okay even though that the the reaction of being a laziness, laziness wasn't there it, at initial time. It might be there, but because of love that was blind, 
So nobody could identify how how we understand how it is. So but and sorry, no problem. And if you are a, a lazy man, yeah. please don't mingle yourself with another lazy man. Mm. Mm. Mingle yourself with hard working man that will show you way. Exactly. Don't mingle yourself with a lazy man like you. Mm. That is just my advice yeah. to any lazy man. Mm. Lazy man can be our husband, can be our son, can be our our um, our brother, our nephew, please, when you know you are lazy, try to move out of that laziness. Because father and mother, they don't live forever. When they are, when they are gone, it is there you see the other part of life. So, thank you. God bless you. Ma, do you have anything to say about viewers? You finish. Okay, don't have any other something to do. So viewers, thank you very much for tuning in to this channel. God bless you. We appreciate you. We love you. Please don't forget if today is your first time, kindly please uh, support us in our, in our channel. Subscribe to this channel and also press the, the notification button so you can get our videos whenever we ah thumbs up exactly I thumbs up okay and don't forget to leave your comments okay what you comment to us what you tell us on this uh, YouTube channel we also hasting our our own way of uh, presentation as well our our communication our discussion so we know what you viewers really want. I hope somebody was blessed today and I believe you love what we just discussed today. So don't forget before we close up this um, program, marriage, please, for marriage couple, it is very important to seal your marriage. Whether you are living good or you are not, seal your marriage. A seed that you plant, nobody hear the noise. A seed grows silent. There is no sound in it. Nobody knows whether the seed, there is a seed there. But a tree that wants to fall, fall with a huge noise. What does that mean? The way you carry your marriage, matters. When you keep your marriage between you and your husband, not everything that happens in your marriage you take outside. Not every issue in your home, marriage is full of, is full of ups and downs. There are a lot of things in marriage. There is no perfect marriage, I can guarantee you. But we coming together will make it perfect because that is what we desire. You go for what you desire. You go for your initial plan. You go for this is what I want in my marriage. And you make it what you want in your marriage. You don't want a home that will be a, 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 a heartbroken home. You don't need a home that will cost you uh, uh, that will cost you tears all the time. You need a home that will bring peace, harmony. And what you give in your home is what your children are looking on to. Please, to all my married people over there, young ones and those that are married, marriage should be a secret thing between both. Anything that you are doing should be secret, okay? Don't carry your issues outside because those things break home. You don't know your friends, you don't know people that love your 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 union, you don't know those who support you. Sometimes keep your home sealed in your mouth. Don't take it outside. Thank you very much. God bless you. We pray for you that you that is looking for life partner through this program and through the discussion. I pray God will inspire you for you to get the right man in your life 
In Jesus' name. Amen. And we also pray for those of you that are struggling in marriage. Through this program, we pray that God will restore your home in the name of Jesus. Amen. You find peace, the peace that passes all understanding. The peace that passes all understanding. That God will bring that peace in our home. That we find peace that no man can comprehend in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you all for listening. God bless you. And your home is protect, protected in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.